Hello everyone! In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to collect data using an Arduino and how to send that data to a table in your database using MAMP and a Python script. So before we get started, um, you will need to at least set up your Arduino. You will need at least one sensor in your circuit. Um, I'm going to use the photoresistor sensor um, that comes with the SparkFun Inventors Kit, uh, which senses light levels. So we're going to be using MAMP again for this video. If you don't have MAMP installed, please see our other video labeled um, COS120 Installing MAMP. It should be in your resources folder, or for those of you who are watching not in the COS120 class, you can just search that on YouTube. Um, and also, you might want to watch the Using MAMP and Python video. That may also help you for... Um, moving on to this next step of integrating an Arduino. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to MAMP, if my computer loads. There we go. And we are going to start up our local host um, again, and then we will get started on creating a new database and a new table. So once your servers are running, we're going to um, double check to see what our ports are. That will be useful later on. My port, my SQL port, is still 101, so that will be useful later on. So make sure you know what your SQL server port is. So we're going to open the start page, and we're going to go to our PHP my admin again. For this video, I'm going to create a new database, and I'm going to label it sensor test. We're going to click on it, and I'm going to create a new table called sensor data, and we're going to have three columns for this table. For our first column, we're going to want the sensor ID. For the second one, we want a sensor value. And for the last one, we just want a timestamp. So the first one's going to be an integer, and the second one should also be an integer. The length doesn't really matter um, unless you have some really large data from your sensor. But for this video, I'm not going to need to set a length. You do not want a primary key for this one. Um, if you happen to accidentally put a primary key, just go into your um, database and you can easily drop the primary key. So for the timestamp, we're going to go to the type and we're going to go down to timestamp right here. And then for your default, we want current timestamp. So this will just show the timestamp for when the data gets entered into your database. So we're going to save. Okay, so now we have our table and we have our Arduino set up. And so now that we have our Arduino completely set up and everything's good, we can now write the code for the Arduino so that it collects the data and then sends it to the serial monitor. So what I've done is just taken the provided um, photoresistor code given by the SparkFun Inventors Kit, um, and I have edited it so that it will set not only collect the data, but send it to the serial monitor. It'll print a um, value pair of the ID and the value of the light level directly to the serial monitor. So 
we what we want to do is we want to create an if statement for this where we can say that if it's above a certain light level then it will print the serial monitor that way we know if something's um, higher or lower than a certain light level and we can send greater than that light level directly to the table that way you're automatically querying the data instead of collecting all sorts of data and then querying it after the fact. So first to test what the average light value is, we're going to um, compile and run the code by using your Arduino program. And we're going to go to the serial monitor from under tools and this will start sending data immediately to the serial monitor. So as you can see the average light value is 732 and I'm gonna put my finger over it and so now it jumps down to the 400-500 range and I'm gonna take my finger off and it goes right back up to the 700 range. So we know that the average value without me affecting the sensor is going to be the 730 range. So in your if statement we can write something along, along the line, lines of if the light value is greater than 730 then print to the serial monitor. So once we change the code to um, have the if statement that says above 730, we can then recompile the code, upload it, and go to the serial monitor, and see our values. So right now it's printing 743, and once I put my finger over it, it completely stops printing because the value is below 730 now. But as soon as I take my finger away, it will continue to start printing again. That is how you find your baseline average light value. You may have something different for the sensor that you're doing, but I would definitely recommend finding the baseline and then querying the data using your if statement based off of the baseline that you find. So now that we have some data that we're collecting and we've already started to sort it by using that if statement, we can now use the Python script to send that data to the new table that we've created. So we're going to open PyCharm and create a new project. I'm going to name the project Arduino Sensor Data. I would recommend you guys um, name it something similar, and that way um, when you go back to it, you can look at it, but you find it pretty easily. So under your resources folder, those of you who are in the class, you will find the 03 Arduino grab from serial port file, and that is the Python script we're going to be using. I have downloaded it and I'm just going to drag and drop. That way when I open it up it's right here. We're just going to make this full screen. So when we open this file you're going to see something similar to our previous Python codes where you have the local host again, the port, the MySQL port that you're using. Like I said earlier, you go to your map, you go to your preferences, your ports, and then you can find your port number. Mine is 101. My username is still root, and my password is still root. Um, and I named my database sensor test. So I'm gonna be using that. 
and if you named it something else please rename it here and here this is again the um, query instruction we're going to be using when we insert this is the table name again change it if you've named your table something else and these are our two values that we're not only collecting but these are the two values in our table so this is our sensor ID and our sensor value if you named your um, table attributes differently change that this is the cursor to point to the database again um, previously we were using dummy data um, before we um, made this video so you can basically ignore this but this is basically telling you that you can use dummy data if you'd like but this while loop will be taking the data that the serial monitor is printing and then it will split the data that you're seeing so right now our serial monitor will print the 700 and 400 but we're only seeing the 700 because it's above the threshold in the if statement so it's going to take this data and split it using the comma and then it's gonna split the ID and the value and then it's gonna print the ID is and the value is into the Python console and then it's going to insert this data into your database right here so when we run this script we go up to run Arduino grab from serial port and we'll begin to see something as long as it doesn't crash. You may have some sort of error such as mine where you might have some sort of formatting issue so we're gonna follow this it says line 20 I have COM3 9600. Make sure your timeout says none if you're using Windows. So I'm going to go to my Arduino and check that I'm using COM3. And in my serial monitor, I'm using 9600. You will get this error if you're using your serial monitor when you're using when you're trying to run this uh, Python script because they're both trying to access the same port. So we're going to close this out and rerun again. If you ever need to reformat something in PyCharm, so something might be saying like error and you see some red squiggly lines underneath, you go and highlight a section and you can go to code and you can go down to reformat code and it will reformat things for you. So now that we're not using the port um, using the serial monitor we can go up to run again and just run it and it should work this time. So now it's going to start printing so it says the value is 748 and the ID is 0 and you'll continue to see it pick up the data from the serial monitor. So we have a delay so you don't continuously get immense amounts of data which will fill up your table really quickly. And so right now we have a sleep function which will only pick up the data every so often. So this, once it's collected a decent amount of data, can be stopped process finished. We can then go into our table and we now see that our sensor ID and values have been, have been inserted 
with our timestamps. And because we've basically queried it already using the if statement in your code, we don't need to re-query the data. So once this is done, you have some values, you can automatically go down to the bottom and click on display chart. And it will show you your data that you've collected that is queried by values over 730. So this is all the sensor data collected that's over 730. And that is how you gather data from an Arduino and then query it, send it to a serial monitor, and using the Python script provided, you can then send it to your table and display it in a chart. Thank you guys for watching.